Okay guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, in today's video, I'm gonna introduce you guys a new a tool, a kit, uh, that you're gonna use to trace down any AC leaks. So, I have a little UV light here, cause I have more than one kit. Okay, this is what this baby look like, so. And also, you need some glasses, okay? So, these are the glasses right here. So you need to put on the glasses. What we'll do is we'll take these glasses, we'll put it in front of the camera, and let's see if we could trace down some leaks. So if your car, if you keep charging your car and the air free on leaks overnight in a day or so, uh, it's a good idea to do a trace down, okay? That's how I find all of my AC leaks. So this is the kit right here. It has a part number. So inside you're gonna have a light, you're gonna have a whole bunch of little um, dye bottles and you're gonna have an injection in there you're gonna have a light you're gonna have glasses everything's in there so let's take a look at so maybe this light was from this kid because i do have like two to three lights sitting around so we got glasses we got uv we got we got everything in there that we need okay this is where the light came out from extra dye so we do have this adapter that goes on the low side line i'm gonna show you exactly how to do it and then we got this injection uh right here comes with the plunger right here and it's gonna be very simple to do so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this stuff we're gonna go over to the low lot line and we're gonna uh, make sure make sure your system has to be charged you could go to a mechanic they can put a free on in it the system work as every AC has to be working that AC that's gonna leak out so either the mechanic could put a UV in there UV dye or you could do it yourself so if your system is working and it leaks out this be the way okay so Let's go. We're going to do this. And then I, this is my personal car. I know I have a small leak. And uh, we're going to check. I'm going to show you where to check, how to check. So pretty much, we're going to check all the lines that go, the seals, the compressor, front of the car. Only thing I'm not going to show you is underneath because I don't want to jack up this vehicle. So where the water comes down from, that port, that drain, you can shoot a light there. You will see discoloration, okay? check before and after it's always a good idea to look first before you put uv in there so you know everything is clean so i have a small build up you guys are gonna see it because i've done it before i checked it i'm waiting for the part so we are gonna be changing that part on this vehicle but let's take a look first okay so uh let me set up my camera really good so right here is our low side low side is the fat line here so it will also tell you low on the cap l okay so remove that cap what we're gonna do is uh, we are gonna take this kit. We got the complete kit there. We're gonna take our uh, we're gonna take our uh, this valve here. We're gonna take this syringe here. So this is like a little syringe for us. So we're gonna put this baby on right here, just like that. Okay. We might zoom up the camera a bit back. So this baby is gonna, you're gonna have to pull back on this. And oh, pressure in the system. Remember, there's pressure in the system. Don't get scared. <laughs> I got scared for a second. What the hell? Anyways, let's zoom up a bit with the camera. So we can see it much, much better. There you go. Okay, this little guy, we're gonna have to unadjust this little guy. Can you see that? We're gonna take our syringe here, and what we're gonna do here is, we are gonna take this little guy, we're gonna put this on top. So, I don't wanna put too much dye in there, so I do have a little tiny bit already in there. So what I wanna do is, you could shoot this whole thing, or I would do about three lines, okay? So what we're gonna do here is, we're gonna compress, we're gonna just turn this baby, and it's gonna pump in the dye and that's it okay and then what you want to do here is i like to take this off and then put your cap back on okay make sure you clean up everything so if you see a uh, mess there you can use a brake cleaner so what i want to do here is i also want to take off this side let's go back a bit so we don't have too much pressure in here okay so <laughs> I am gonna go put this away for a bit. Let me go put this away because it's leaking all over. Okay, so that's that. So we're done pretty much there. So usually it would not be a common for this thing to leak if you have caps on, good, because a lot of times if you don't have caps on, it would leak through the valve there. So 
you guys gonna see what you want to do next is uh, remember your AC system works so let it run and start the car run it for a good 20 30 minutes go for a spin and come back that's what I'm gonna do okay so I've driven the car for a few hours and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our glasses put it right in front of the camera here I'm gonna hold it there you go and we got our UV light so as you can see Look at the buildup right there. I mean, not the buildup. That's the spray that I sprayed out. But what you want to do here is you want to go all on the lines and check like this fitting right here. See this right here? This is a joint. It can leak from the seals. It can leak from uh, from right here. Um, I do know I have a small leak right there. You see right there? Those are the line seals for the AC lines. But mostly the common area is down here. AC condenser, so let's take a look and you guys follow along and see where you see something build up. Okay, there you go. And uh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. There's our leak right there. Uh, that's how you're going to find the leak, okay? And you won't see it anywhere else, only the build up spots, nowhere else, okay? You also want to check the lines, like where the lines right there, the pressure switch. So it's, it's dry there, no shining there, okay? Check before and after, that way you have an idea. Okay, so that's where my leak is. Anyways, it's going to need a new condenser, and that's how you find leaks with the AC system. You also want to go down where the water leaks are. You see this car? It's a puddle of water there. You can even shine it on the water, and you will see it. But this one's not leaking, but you can shine down there where the drain is and you will see a leak. Anyway, that's it. Bye-bye. So here's a condenser that's sitting over here that I changed before. You see the light? You won't see much. Just the light. But if you put cap, if you put this glass in front of the camera, it works really well on the eyes. Then you're able to track this down. Okay, you see that? You won't see much there. But as the light comes down, it will shine at you. So my light is open, my shop light, so we're not going to see a lot. But no light, light, UV light. Okay, that's how that works. Let's take off. Let's keep shooting the light. And let's take off the glasses. You will, might be able to see something, but uh, usually it will have a large buildup. But that's it. That's the difference with the glasses and without the glasses. You see that? No glasses glasses no glasses glasses